Hey, welcome to prep day. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Both recipes were kindly involved today. Not that they were anything hard, but there, there was like a lot of steps to both of the recipes. And then I threw in some pimento cheese at the last minute because we were going to make it a couple weeks ago and we never got around to it. And since I had the stuff, I went ahead and made it. And you'll see I make his and hers because we have his and hers mayonnaise. <laughs> I messed mine up. I have to recalculate the points. I'll tell you about that at the end when we're putting everything together. And I'll give you a hint if I like the cap, the um, hamburger casserole or not. I made four for me and two for David. He's only got one. I just ate one for break, for, for lunch. <laughs> so... Don't tell him he'll never know. <laughs> it turned out really good. I'm really pleased with that recipe. Um, anyway, and then the pumpkin cream cheese muffins. <sighs> Ate one of those too. Really good. So, this is just a repeat of what I told you at the end. Uh, I'm very pleased with everything that I made this week. Like I said, you never know when you find recipes, that they're hit or miss. Some recipes I find that sound absolutely delicious, they are just not. And some that sound really odd turn out to be so good. Like this loaded hamburger casserole. Very odd sounding. <laughs> and when you see what we put together, you'll think, uh-uh. Trust me. If you like a good hamburger, it's good. So, all right. Like I said, I'm tired. We'll keep this short and sweet, and we'll just turn around and start cooking. The first thing we're going to start on is our um, pumpkin cream cheese muffins. I'm going to go ahead and get them in the oven, and then we can work on the rest of it while they're baking. So I have six ounces of cream cheese. This is just regular cream cheese. You could use light. I don't know if fat-free would work or not, but um, you can try whatever kind you want. And it's room temperature. Fingers crossed. So let me make a little bit of noise. Okay, it could have stood to be a little more soft, but I got it whipped up pretty good. Now, with that, we want to use, this is just the powdered muck fruit. So, whichever um, powdered sugar substitute you like, that's the one you use. But use the powdered. Four tablespoons, did I say that? And then um, one teaspoon of vanilla. Now let's whip that up again. Let me set that aside and I'm going to get together the ingredients for the actual muffin. The first thing we have to do for our batter is take a quarter cup of softened butter. It just so happened I couldn't have, because I didn't check and I made a, a fatal mistake of not checking beforehand. If I had any enough softened, that's exactly to the, I mean, to the T what I had in my little butter dish. So that's a perfect opportunity to go ahead and clean my butter dish out before I refill it. So that is a quarter cup of butter. I'm using real butter. I'm just using real butter. Now for the sweetener, this will be the first time I'm using this. It is the Lakanto bacon um, sweetener. I don't know what they did to it. Well, it says tapioca starch. Chicory root, inulin, monk fruit, cellulose gum. Um, it still has four carbohydrates, but to get your net carbs, which I'm going to start working on those since I, I've got into the groove of doing carbs, now I'm going to start working on net carbs. But to get net carbs, you always take away your fiber and any sugar alcohol, so that will still make this a zero net carb sweetener. But it's made specially for bacon. And I don't want to tell you how long I've had this because I was afraid if I, and this is how silly it sounds, if I used it and liked it, I couldn't afford to get it again. <laughs> so I'm like, well, what the heck? We'll give it a shot. So we just need three quarters of a cup of your favorite artificial sweetener. I hate to call it artificial because 
the monk fruit is a fruit it's not artificial so three quarters of a cup of your favorite sweetener how's that so it's kind of a heavier powdered sugar almost I think I'm going to make a mess. Now, I am going to make a mess because we need to cream this together until it's very light and fluffy. Now, I'm not sure. Don't you like my, <laughs> my Halloween? I got this. I got this at Halloween. 100% that witch. I don't know if this is what they consider light and fluffy, but that's what my butter and my sweetener did. So, it at least dispersed the butter in, in there. Now, to that, we need to add two eggs. One cup of pumpkin. I have got powder on everything over here. Now this is some that I had left in the refrigerator and I'm not sure how close to a cup this comes but I have another can just in case. I should have already measured it out but I kind of been doing other stuff. That's why I'm not giving you a count of how long today's taken me because I'm working on other stuff. I've been messing around and so it wouldn't be an accurate count okay so we do need a little bit more i did at least get the can open okay, so one cup of pumpkin and a teaspoon of vanilla Now let's blend this together. Okay, I think we got that blended in there. Oh, I wish you could see my counter. <laughs> Looks like they've been doing sheetrock in here. Listen, I have lived through that. It is terrible. It is terrible. All right, now let me kind of see what we need to add. Let me let me wipe up a few things. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna do two cups of almond flour. I don't even know what kind this is. It's just the kind that I have um, I have kept in my freezer. But I got it in my cabinet now for little quick mug breads and whatnot. So two cups of whatever kind of almond flour you use. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Did I tell you the oven was preheated to 350? I didn't. I meant to. Quarter teaspoon. Yep. Salt. And a teaspoon of baking soda. It says baking soda, not baking powder. So I'm going with it. Now, what the recipe says to do is to fill up the muffin cups with the batter scoop some of the cream cheese mixture on top and swirl it but i was reading the comments if you find um, new recipes it's a good idea to read the comments because you'll find people that have tried things that um maybe something didn't work and then that worked better for them they said next time they would like scoop some put the cream cheese in and then scoop some more on top so that's what i'm going to do because they said it was kind of difficult to swirl, which I can tell because it's um, pretty thick. E either way we do it, it's an um, experiment since I've never made this before. This part is also an experiment. This is a little cookie thing that I have had from Pampered Chef for many years. You scoop the cookie dough and then you rake well scoop the cookie dough and rake it off see what i mean scoop the cookie dough and rake it off so i'm going to scoop this and rake it off instead of trying to use two um oh it did work 
instead of trying to use two um, spoons. Yeah, I think that probably was easier. Okay, now these go in the 350-degree oven for, it says, 25 minutes. So I'm going to stick those in there, do a little bit of cleanup, and when we come back, we're going to start on this loaded hamburger casserole. Now let's get started on this loaded hamburger casserole. This is one pound of 93% hamburger which i already had in the freezer i went ahead and fried it and um just have let it been sitting over here waiting on us to do this now the recipe calls for fresh mushrooms i thought i put them in my buggy when i did my walmart but apparently i didn't so as luck would have it i had a can of the stems and pieces i like to keep these on hand because you just never know when you might need them if you don't like canned mushrooms don't use canned mushrooms and if you don't like mushrooms at all, don't even use them. If you do use the um, fresh mushrooms, the recipe that I got this from says cook your meat and then take it out, then cook your mushrooms. Anytime I ever cook mushrooms with a hamburger, I just do it together. So you do whichever way you want to do it. Then three slices of bacon. This is the Walmart's um, Great Value Already Fully Cooked Bacon. And a half a cup of chopped dill pickles. This right here is three of these kosher baby deals. And just chop them up to whatever size you want. Now, the recipe says put it in a 9 by 9 but you know what? All I have is 8 by 8 And instead of digging it out, this one's easier to get to. And it is like eight by eight <laughs> so since i don't have a choice in sizes i'm going to go to the one i could get to the easiest oh there's our muffins hold please all right the muffins are out that was 35 minutes and no 25 minutes and i'm gonna let them cool probably about five minutes and turn them out so they don't start sticking so we might stop in the middle of this i'm not sure now we just need i think this is four ounces of cream cheese and i will be reading this recipe because it's a lot of ingredients i don't know if you can see well i'll bring them over you'll see so first well i forgot to put in my my things So first thing, let's just cream this up. Now comes the fun part with all the ingredients. We need two tablespoons of sour cream, and I'm just using the Great Value Light. Now if I can get to it, we're going to do the cream last and the cheese last. So a teaspoon, this is my little trick I've showed y'all before. If you got a bunch of ingredients like I do, set your measuring size with your ingredients so you know. Like I said, I'll be looking at that recipe sheet, but hopefully this will help me a little bit. Salt and pepper, I'm not going to measure my pepper. I'll just give it some. Salt is, I think that's a half a teaspoon. Recipe calls for a teaspoon, but... I don't know, that sounded kind of too much. Oh, I forgot the garlic. Hold on. A clove's worth of minced garlic. Then a tablespoon each of these. I think I'll do mustard first, and then maybe the other two will help wash out the spoon. So a tablespoon of mustard. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A 
and a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, which sounded kind of odd to me, but hey, I'm just going to go as it says. It might add something to it that if you leave it out, it would be noticeable. Okay. Now, let me, let me blend this up before we add the cream. Okay, we're actually using half and half, not cream. Just regular half and half. It calls for cream, but I'm, I'm using this. So, third of a cup. We're just doing a little bit at a time, so I guess we don't splash it. Okay, now, the last thing we need is the cheese. We're going to, let me slide some of this out of the way. I got a mess of stuff to clean up today. Where is my spatula? is the cheese i'm using the cabot 75 percent light one cup total for the recipe half of it in the sauce and i think the other half goes on top let me make sure yep that's it so mix this half in here it smells good i don't want to taste it because i don't want to be swayed in case it takes on a different flavor profile while it's cooking because I've had that happen to me before I get a preconceived notion so we just put this on top of our hamburger mixture then the other half of our cheese This goes in the 350 oven that we had on for the muffins for 25 minutes as well. So, I don't know what we'll do when we come back. I was going to make some pimento cheese. I've showed y'all how to make it before, but maybe we'll make it together again. I don't know. You just hang on. We'll see what comes up next. Well, I decided to go ahead and do the pimento cheese. In case you like it and you don't realize how easy it is, I'll show you again. Um, a lot of times we do these videos from way back and they just kind of get lost and I don't think it hurts maybe to revisit some things what I did was shred a whole block this is just full fat extra sharp cheese I, I just wanted to do the full fat version today so it makes my points go up a little bit but I'm okay with that so I gave David a cup and I got a cup the reason why we do his and hers because we have his and hers mayonnaise I don't have to count way his I can just do it until it it looks like we like it. <laughs> I will measure mine, and mine will not be as um, loose as his. Now, this is just a can of a jar of the pimentos. They just come in little jars. The reason I drained it to save the juice is I'm not going to use all these, and I want to put them back in the um, jar. So, probably about a tablespoon, and we'll see. And just a shake. Of how seasoning not much and stir it up and that is all there is to it you made pimento cheese <laughs> now some people run theirs through the food processor to get it real fine but um we don't we just like it like this let's see He could use just a little more. I'm going to give him just a little more mayonnaise. Where I live, the mayonnaise is the best part. <laughs> Okay, now there's his, doesn't matter the points, just same way we're going to make mine. Mine, we're going to matter with the points. So for mine, we're going to do, I'm not using the light mayonnaise. I'm using my Dukes. And I'm only going to use a half a cup 
I need to make sure see what I'm doing over here, but I am trying to scoop out a half a cup out of the bottom of this. So it's not going to be as loose as his, but I will take it a little more firm to be able to have it than to not have it. I think that's in this journey, no matter how we're eating, we're, um, we don't mind taking things just a little, just a little different, just as long as we can have them in some, some form. So let me add a spoonful of pimentos to that. And just a little shake. And I'll show you the difference. Now, I could probably add a little bit of the pimento juice in here if I wanted to loosen it up, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. So mine, since I'm using full fat cheese, two tablespoons is four points. If I use my light craft, it's on my website. I'm pretty sure if I use my, why does mine look creamier than his? And I measured my mayonnaise out. I didn't measure his. Don't you think his looks thicker than mine? I don't know. Maybe it's my. Anyway, so there's mine. Two tablespoons is four points because I used Duke's mayonnaise and full fat cheese. On my website, I use the Cabot Light Cheese, 75% Light Cheese, and I think Kraft um, Light Mayonnaise. Or maybe I did use Duke's. I don't remember. But the... Oops, hold on. Alexa, stop. But the recipe on my website... But the recipe on my website is one point for... I think it's a quarter cup. I'm not sure. This is how you do it. You do how much ever cheese, what kind of cheese... How much you have mayonnaise, what kind of mayonnaise, and your pimentos. And that is all there is to it. You don't have to do another single thing. So you can make it your own. However you like it, the texture you like it, and the ingredients you like. Now, that was the hamburger casserole. So let's get that out. Now let's plate up this casserole. I'm going to tell you, it smells good. It smells just like a cheeseburger because of those pickles and mustard. That's what I can smell. I'm very anxious to taste this. Now, we want to make this six servings, so I don't know how this is going to scoop out. Now, your um, kind of cheese you use is going to vary, like, the point, I can't, I can't do two things at one time. I think I'm going to have to get a spoon. The points I had, like, I use regular in my pimento cheese. Like I said on um, something yesterday, I think it was, I, I pick and choose where I want to spend my points. This was already, let me get a spoon. Okay, this was already high enough in points that I didn't want to spend any more on um, cheese. Boy, what a mess. What it would do if you like, mixed it all together. Now this is not a big portion for the points, but I'm gonna have some um, salad or something with it to round out my meal. If it tastes good, then I'm okay with it. All right, here is everything. I'm going to tell you. Very surprised at the loaded hamburger casserole and at the muffin because you just don't know. You just don't know. I tasted that. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> I cannot believe to me how absolutely delicious it is. Cannot wait for this week. I wish I wanted to pay the points to have separated into four bigger servings, but I didn't. 
this is one of those situations where the points are higher than the carbs. And I'm trying to keep my carbs down, but I also want to keep my points down. So I'm, I'm just leaving it where it's at. Seven points and four carbs. My pimento cheese was four points for two. Oh, no. That's what I was going to tell you. You know why this is creamier looking? Because it dawned on me when I was doing all this other stuff. I put in a half a cup of mayonnaise, which is how much you put in for two cups of cheese. I put it in there instead of dividing it out. It should only be a quarter cup of cheese. So now I'm going to have to change my tracker. And the points would have just shot up. <laughs> the carbs not so much because there's no carbs in the mayonnaise. But the points just shot up. So... I can probably get by with that. I bought me some celery, and I'm going to try. I'm going to try to eat it on some celery. I'm going to give it the old college try, but since it is looser, it will spread farther. I won't have to use as much to spread, so hopefully I can eat less. So I don't know right off the bat what the points are on this. That'll be on the screen. The muffins. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now... If you've never had anything with almond flour, it, it can turn out dry. There's nothing dry about this, and it's got to be that nice little um, pocket of cream cheese in the middle. Of course, there is the um, – it's, it's not dry right there. It's very good. It's not got the smoothest texture like a regular flour muffin. But it's not grainy either. She is a very good muffin. I'm very pleased with that as well. So I think this is going to be a really, really good um, week of food. So that's all I have for you today. And I will see you on my next video.